Hi folks, Professor Amachi here. I wanted to show you how to get through the free code camp, build a tribute page. Okay, and uh, let's get started here. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, you're gonna wanna hit that code pen. So the code pen project is over here right at the very end. So we'll just go ahead and open link in new window. We're not gonna be needing the JavaScript window here. So we can just move that out of the way, leave some room for us right here. And in this right here, be sure to select tribute page. Uh, we'll be going through some of these other projects here, but for now, just be sure to hit that tribute page because uh, this brings up this JavaScript uh, function right here, and you'll be able to use the uh, test here, okay? So as you can see, as soon as you do run test, right, it's gonna basically tell you what you're missing. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and hit these punch list items here one by one. And I'm gonna build this in VS Code here. The reason being is I like using Emmet and the tab completions. It's probably gonna help you as well because this right here, uh, I don't think Emmet works in here and in here. So uh, we'll, just, we'll just build the code in here and then paste it right up in the window. So first thing, first thing uh, you're gonna wanna do, yeah, typically, you know, this is an HTML5 file. So just, just you know, build your structure. <laughs> uh, what is this FCC tribute page? Okay, and technically, since you have CSS as uh, separate over here, technically you're gonna need a separate file to link to it. Um, I don't think this tests for it, but just know that uh, if you need to link to an external CSS file, that's like this, link CSS. And if it was called something like layout, Again, I don't think it's testing for it, so that's okay. Tribute page should have an element with corresponding ID main, okay? That means we could just do something like this. So div ID main, tab complete, and there we go. So we're gonna be building out all of our stuff in here. Uh, let's just see if, if we can paste our code in, right? And see what our tests are going to reveal. And test one, okay, well, still have a ways to go here. H1 ID, H1 ID, uh, we should see a title in here. So let's do H1, uh, heading one, ID, title. That's this right here. Describes the subject of the tribute page, right? Uh, okay, fine, title. <laughs> All right. We should also see a div element with the corresponding ID image div. Okay, image div. So let's go ahead and do div ID image div. Okay, build that out there. And it's right in this space here that we're going to be building stuff out. Uh, let's go ahead and get some items in here copied while we still remember. Let's run some tests. Yeah, we're uh, making some headway in the punch list here. Okay, so we got image div. Within the image div, I should see an image element with the corresponding ID image. Uh, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. 
let's uh, do that here. So, okay, under image div, uh, we're gonna need an image ID. Okay, easy. Let's do image ID uh, called image. <laughs> And we already know we're going to need to, I think we're going to need an alt in here to describe the image. And then the source. For the source, I just went out and copied a stock photo of an orange cat. Okay, so our source is going to be that URL. And let's do some word wrap there. Picture of an orange cat. Title here is going to be awesome orange cats. Okay, and image div, we already got that. So let's grab this, throw that in there. Image caption within the development. See image caption, which contains content describing the image. Image caption. So we can do fig caption here. Let's try that out. Let's do fig caption. Fig caption, the ID. We'll copy it right there. IMG caption. Orange cat. Okay, complete that out there. There is our fig caption. Okay, paste that in there. Yeah, we're making headway here. Six out of 10. Okay. <laughs> yep, orange cat. That's cool. Okay, tribute info should see an element with the corresponding ID tribute info, which contains text describing the subject. We could do something like this outside of the uh, div here. Let's try this. Just a paragraph with the ID of tribute info. Okay, drop that in. And we'll do B for bold, and we'll do orange cat attributes. It is going to be an unordered list, and yeah, let's just pick two. Okay, list items times two. Expand that. Um, attributes, I don't like to generalize but so we're gonna have say uh tendency to like eating <laughs> tendency to like humans because humans have the opposable thumbs and humans have access to food <laughs> so we got the unordered list i got the paragraph in there Let's throw that in there, throw that up here. Okay, run some tests. Okay, getting there. There's seven out of 10 right now. Should see an A element. So that's gonna be a link. It's an A element with the corresponding ID tribute link, uh, which links to an outside site that contains additional information about the subject of the tribute page. Uh, you must give your element an attribute of target and set it to blank in order for the link to open in a new tab, right? Target equals blank. Um, yeah, we could link to something external, but since this is just a test here and we just want to get our points and stuff, why, <laughs> right? So let's just link to itself. <laughs> I think that that'll be okay. I don't think it's checking for it. So let's see, under the title, got our awesome orange cats. We got our image div. Let's go A, 
ID is called tribute link and href. Let's just make it itself. And the target is going to equal Okay, let's see if that does it. Okay, for a new test. Yep, we're getting getting almost at the end here. Good. The image element should responsibly size relative to the width of its parent element without exceeding its original size. Image element should be centered within its parent element. So how about if if this was called layout.css? Why don't we try this? Uh, how about height auto? Going to be auto display block. Margin left auto, margin right auto. Let's see if that's going to do it. Hey, there's 10 of 10. <laughs> I mean, look, the, um, the page is not awesome <laughs> but at least get you your 10 points okay <laughs> and and you could pretty it up after uh, after you do this and that's totally fine that's up to you but if you just want to get your points and get out of here then that's fine you just take your code pen url here okay do the solution link paste that in and say, I've completed this challenge. Congratulations. And now you are on to the next. Hope you had fun with this, folks. Uh, I certainly did. Uh, we will see you on the next one. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, OK? Thanks.